This video features high-end limited edition collectibles and is intended for adult collectors. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. Today, we are taking another look at the Poppy Parker Model Traveler Collection. If you are not familiar with this line, make sure to take a look at our previous review of the first two dolls, Hello New York and Tokyo Twilight. That video will be linked in the description below. It has been quite a while since our initial coverage. Since then, the two remaining poppies of the first wave were released, Mad for Milan and Sizzling in Paris. More recently, Integrity Toys and David Buttrey surprised collectors with two additional Traveler poppies, Enlightened in India and Outback Walkabout. Each poppy was available through IT's authorized dealers, with the exception of Sizzling Paris, which was a W Club lottery doll. Mad for Milan and Sizzling Paris were an addition size of 1000 each and was priced at $145 each. The second wave, Enlightened in India and Outback Walkabout, were an increase of $1,200 each, and with that also includes an increased price of $150. They are packaged in the same boxes as the other Model Traveler collection poppies. Designed to look like Poppy's traveling suitcase, there are stamps of each location she visited in this collection. There's still two locations that aren't accounted for, and it's a bummer we will not get to see them represented. Presented. This is still one of our favorite lines of IT packaging, well designed and decorated. Let's open them up and take a closer look at each doll. Here's a close up look at Mad for Milan Poppy Parker. She has the same eye screening as the first two Poppy Parker dolls last time, which was based on the Bergdorf Goodman screening. She has a bronze color palette with golden bronze eyeshadow and warm brown eyes. Her lip color is very nude, but there is a splash of light cream color to it. It's a bit rare that we have seen Poppy with nude lips. Milan Poppy definitely had collectors enamored. Poppy is sporting a chic updo. Her shoulder blade length hair is pulled back into a bump and the ends are curled inwards. Her hair is finished with a black ribbon. From afar, her hair may look just like black hair, but up close you can see that it's a lovely blend of light and dark browns and black hair strands. Arguably the most talked about piece of clothing of Milan is her floor length leopard print coat. Definitely an interesting fashion choice. The fabric is nice and thick. There's some weight to it, which is nice. There are five black buttons along the front edge. Black fabric lines the inside of the coat. Underneath, Milan is wearing a long sleeve black A-line dress. It also has a nice thickness to it and holds the A-line shape well. The collar of the dress is wide and high. Poppy comes with several versatile accessories. Her long chain belt can double as a necklace as well. She comes with a pair of stylish square shaped earrings. Her chain necklace has a black and gold pendant. Poppy has a whopping four bracelets in different styles. Which one is your favorite? Do you recognize any of them from any other dolls? She can even dodge the paparazzi or the sun's ray in her black sunglasses. Poppy can carry her small items in her cute faux croc leather handbag. Like many IT items, the handbag actually opens up and has a magnetic closure. Poppy has a pair of alternate glove hands. Here at Toy Chat, we always appreciate any additional hands, especially painted glove hands, for added versatility used in playtime. Milan Poppy is wearing black thigh-high boots. There's a buckle right below the bend of her knee, and the boot zips up from the back. Next up, we have Sizzling in Paris Poppy. This gorgeous Poppy is quite unique. Not only is she only the second Poppy in the cream skin tone, the first being the Build-A-Doll Poppy, she also sports a unique screening. Like the other Model Traveler Poppies we reviewed, her screening is based on the popular Bergdorf Goodman screening, but unique to Sizzling in Paris, her eyebrows are raised higher on her face. Does it give her a more youthful look? Her piercing green eyes have light brown eyeshadow. Her lips are painted with rich red. Her hair is a lovely raven black color. It's straight and tied into a high ponytail. It's quite long, reaching down to her hips. Paris is wearing an elegant strapless evening dress. It's a beautiful ruby color with beading at the plunging bust. It is a very modern, mature look for Poppy. With this look, she kind of fits in with the friend or foe gift set, don't you think? She comes with a faux fur stole. We love the fur puffs at the end of the stole. 
Poppy comes with two pairs of hands. One pair of standard long nail hands that have painted red nails. The alternative pair of hands are white gloved hands that also come with white fabric pieces to give her an opera glove look. Poppy can carry her things in a functioning red clutch that matches the color of her dress. Also matching in color are her high heel shoes. They are open toe heels with rhinestone detailing. She has white leggings on as well. As you can see, unique to this poppy is her high heel feet. All the other poppies in this collection have the standard articulated ankles. Contrasting the rest of her sleek look, her jewelry is pretty chunky. She's wearing circular faux diamond lined earrings with a larger red gem at the center. She has a matching red gem statement ring. Finally, she has a cuff bracelet with a similar design to her other jewelry. Moving on, we have Enlighten in India. She's the only one in this collection that has different eye screening besides the upgrade doll Pretty Bird Poppy. This particular eye screening is used sporadically in the past, for example, all the poppies of the 2014 Integrity Toys Gloss Convention. And more recently, Rendezvous in Rio, Kiss in the Shadows, and Beach Babe sporting this screening. This eye screening is often paired with more loud color palettes, but here it's more subtle with soft warm browns. She has light blue eyes under the thickly drawn eyeliner. She is wearing light pink lipstick as well. Moving on to her hair, she has long light blonde hair with straight bangs. Initially, we thought her hair was going to be straight, but in person, her hair is more curly, with the ends having a nice curl to it. She has on gold drop earrings with two large oval hoops. They kind of look like handcuffs to us, but you decide. Here she is in her outfit of choice for her grand trip to India. She is wearing a colorful mini dress with a paisley print and a Nehru collar. The inside is lined in pink fabric. The sleeves are made of a pink mesh fabric with paisley cuffs. She also wears a matching pair of underwear. India Poppy comes with quite a few nice accessories. A gold chain necklace with teal bead detailing and a gorgeous gold peace sign pendant. Two rings are also included. One oval ring in pink and another in blue. Also included is a pink rim pair of sunglasses. This style is quite common within this collection. Poppy has a beautiful thematic bag for her adventure in India. The bag has a long strap and long fringe strings dangling off the purse. For her footwear, she's wearing gold colored sandal boots. These shoes are laced up in the front. Applying these shoes was a tedious job, but this is a rare occasion that we got to see Poppy's painted toes. Finally, let's talk about the most exciting aspect of this Poppy, her alternate pair of hands. True to the hippie movement of the 60s and 70s, Poppy has a peace sign hand and a love sign hand. We haven't seen these specialty hands since 2018's IFDC convention. Interestingly, these hands are not identical to those included in those poppies. Looks like IT had these hands resculpted. Which ones do you prefer? Last but not least, we have Outback Walkabout Poppy. The first thing that pops out at you are her lavender eyes. The rest of Poppy's look is very monochromatic, so her gorgeous BG eyes really do shine. We haven't seen lavender eyes on Poppy in quite a while. Fantasy eyes aren't brand new to Poppy, however, with them even appearing in the debut release collection of Miss Poppy Parker. Portrait in Black Poppy had a similar shade of lavender eyes. The most recent lavender-eyed Poppy prior to Outback Walkabout was Fab from the 2019 Style Lab. What do you think of fantasy eyes? Do we need more or do you prefer more realistic looks for Poppy? Back to Outback, she has tan eyeshadow and soft pink lips. Fortunately, Poppy's lavender eyes are still vivid in person, but the shade of pink looks different than it does in the promo images. Just another case of the promo image not being entirely reflective of what we actually get. We do really love this particular hairstyle for Poppy. Her wavy hair is styled into a small bump and cascades down her back. The length lands around the midway point of her back on this particular Poppy we have here. How adorable are her bangs? They frame her face very nicely. Her sandy blonde hair is styled into waves and is gelled in place. She wears gold hoop earrings and a belt buckle choker. Onward to her outfit, Outback is wearing a tan mini dress inspired by the iconic Yves Saint Laurent safari outfit. Mattel actually did a recreation of this actual outfit a few years back. So Poppy's look here looks a bit plain in comparison. Nevertheless, the outfit nicely fits the Aussie theme. It's a decently short mini dress with long sleeves. The sleeve cuffs have tan buttons. 
There are two pockets at the bust and a long slit down the front, starting from the wide collar to her midsection. The opening is laced up with, you guessed it, tan string. There's a loose brown belt attached to her waist as well. Under her dress is a pair of tan mesh panties. Moving on to her footwear, Poppy is wearing thigh-high pleather boots. They are similar in design to Milan's boots, minus the lack of buckle detailing. She has a pretty unique looking shoulder bag. It is circular in shape with a chain and pleather strap. The bag is dark brown in color with a tan front. There's a red stripe down the middle and a zipper opening at the top. Like most of the girls in this collection, she has a pair of sunglasses, this time in brown. Also included is a circular brown ring. Poppy comes with two pairs of hands, one standard pair and the other in the holding position. Both pairs have their nails painted in a soft pink color. All poppies in this collection come with a standard Poppy Parker metallic adjustable pole and acrylic base stand. And of course, each girl comes with her own certificate of authenticity. Look at those edition sizes. Poppy's trip around the world was a welcome one. I honestly can say that the Model Traveler collection is my personal favorite Poppy collection. There's been collections in the past that I have really enjoyed, but would have passed on a few Poppies if I had to. But here, I love them all and I can't be without them. David did an amazing job designing such thematic Poppies that are both unique in their own rights and fit into a cohesive collection. I was very fortunate to be able to obtain all seven poppies this time around. Despite being at least 1,000 edition size each, each of these girls sold out in record time. Mainline poppy collections had never been this large before, yet it feels like a lot of collectors did miss out on some of these. I'm looking forward to seeing what IT does to adjust to the sudden increased interest in the company's products. The second batch of poppies, India and Outback, did have an increased edition size, so it seems like IT is aware of poppies' popularity. But the increase did confuse me a bit. While it's great that they increased the edition size, they also increased the price as well. While both poppies are nice, I do think you're getting less with them. The first batch of poppies came with additional clothing items like New York and Milan's coats, Twilight's layered dresses, and Paris's shawl. This second batch, you're only getting a singular outfit. I'm curious if it was a conscious design choice or something that was done to simplify its production to get more out. If I had to pick a favorite, I would say Hello New York is my pick. She's stunning from head to toe. I love her coat and outfit. But if I was picking from the four present here, I would say Sizzling in Paris is probably the most striking and unique. I just love a good sultry poppy. It is no surprise that my favorite eye screening is the Bergdorf Goodman screening. And all the poppies in this collection besides Pretty Bird and Enlightened in India have. What did surprise me is how much I end up liking India poppy. Her eyes are really striking in person, something I feel like the promo images did not capture accurately. I'm thoroughly in love with this collection and can't wait to see what David has in store for us in the Palm Springs this year. The Model Traveler collection is definitely one with limitless possibilities, so it's great to see so many different poppies appear in this line. Maybe they could eventually expand it even more? I'd love to see Poppy dressed for China, Mexico, or Korea. As for the quartet we reviewed today, my personal favorite would have to be Enlightened in India. The delicate puff sleeves and dramatic color pop patterning of her outfit are delectable eye candy, and those peace sign hands are seriously a must-have for any Poppy Parker collector. Sizzling in Paris does live up to her name with those piercing green eyes and raven hair, even if it doesn't feel quite as striking as the promos in person. Her dress is a little basic for me, but the glorious jewelry and luxurious fur more than make up for it. I have the unpopular opinion that Milan doesn't shine as much as I'd like her to in the somewhat shapeless black dress and coat, but this is coming from someone who doesn't love leopard print as a general rule. Bump hairstyles are also overplayed on Poppy, but the selling point of this one to me is the screening. She has a golden bronze shimmer to her makeup and it pairs nicely with the sun-kissed skin tone, giving her a very Italian aesthetic. I have to say, Outback 
soundtrack is my least favorite overall. The only real redeeming quality being the screening. I get the safari garb is a thematic fit, but it just looks frumpy in doll scale and is not something I want on a $150 doll, especially given I consider her to be the most basic doll in this entire collection. I had to trade in my Outback Poppy because of some problematic hair rooting, which has made me apprehensive of this style overall, once again featuring the overplayed bump. I can't deny, however, how gorgeous this Poppy's face is. Those lavender eyes really lure you in. I think she could look amazing redressed. Make sure to let us know how you feel about the remainder of the Model Traveler collection in the comments below. If you'd like to check out our other Integrity Toys reviews, including our full playlist, it'll be linked in the video description below. What do you think we should expect to see next from Poppy? Let's definitely have a conversation about it. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.